All right, if you were an 80s or a 90s kid, you grew up with the movie Beetlejuice. 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 I was like 10 years old when the movie came out and I was so obsessed I built the Beetlejuice model in my basement as a kid. It wasn't to scale but it was enough for a 10 year old to do. Nice fucking model! <laughs> Last year I heard through the grapevine which is Facebook that Beetlejuice 2 was in production. They were building the sets out in East Corinth, Vermont and uh, they were rebuilding the house, they were building the facades, the movie was going into production, and through that wonderful place, Facebook, I got to meet some of the people from the town where it was being filmed. So, me and my wife, well actually, I convinced my wife, I said, hey, you like going on trips? Let's take a trip out there to see the filming of Beetlejuice. So we got our tickets, we talked to the townspeople, and figured out when the filming was gonna happen, we got on our plane, we flew out there, and... That Wednesday night, when we landed, we stayed in Boston, and we're going to get there the next day, because we figured there's going to be a whole week of filming, we'll have plenty of time. Well, the writer's strike hit, they filmed late into the evening, and uh, then the next day, they were done. By the time we got there, everyone was gone. But we were able to go through the town, get some great footage, meet some really cool people, and we kind of wondered, is this movie actually going to happen with the writer's strike? But it happened, and it came out this weekend. We went and seen it. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but I'm going to give you my honest opinion of what we think about it. So when the movie first started, I was excited. Yeah, I didn't know what to think, but the opening scene was kind of reminiscent of the way the first movie started. And after being able to drive down those roads and walk on the streets there in the town, it even had more of a nostalgic feeling to me since I'd actually been to the place that the filming happened. And as the storyline went on, I immediately realized that the movie was not going to be like the first one, which is a good thing. A lot of times, sequels, they try to go and they beat a dead horse. They just kind of remake the same movie over and over again. That is not what happened with Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. There was a new storyline. They dealt with the Maitland's absence. Uh, just kind of quick in the movie. I wish they would have expounded on that a little more, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. And for a lot of people who thought Charles Dietz wasn't going to be in the movie, well, he was, but he wasn't. The original Charles was not in there, but his presence was in the movie. Um, it was surrounded by his death, but he is in the movie, just not the Charles that we know from the first movie. Um, as the movie went on, there were some great effects. There were throwbacks to the original Beetlejuice effects, and um, the storyline was pretty cool. There wasn't a lot of scenes from the town East Corinth uh, in Vermont. Uh, there was a few scenes. There's a few people that I get to meet out there. I think I think I saw a couple of them in in the scenes, but I'm gonna have to ask them if that was them or not because I know they did take a lot of talents people to be in the movie too for the extras, and uh, it was cool to see. So Charles' presence in the movie, the way they did it, uh, was pretty cool. I think it was very funny the way they they worked him in. And also there was another twist in the movie that I did not expect with Astrid's boyfriend in the movie uh, that she meets in the town. I, I won't get into it, but but that was a cool twist, the way they did that. It, it's kind of, at first, when it comes up, you know, it, there's some suspicion, but then you figure it out. You're going to have to watch the movie to figure it out. And the ending, my only critique is that uh, uh, I think Beetlejuice died too easily in the end. Because, of course, you know, the good guys always win. I thought he died a little too easily in the end, but that would be my only critique. So that's why I'll give it 9 out of 10 stars. It's a great movie. Go see the movie yourself. And to all the great people we got to meet when we were out in East Corinth, Vermont, uh, for the filming of Beetlejuice 2, we forever hold you in our hearts. Um, everyone was so kind. There was a storm when we were out there that was flooding out roads. They had a lot to deal with that week. So we didn't stay in the town like we had originally planned because uh, the flooding and the devastation that had gone on with the storms that were going on at that time. They had a hard time with the fil filming because they had to deal with the storms. They had to deal with the rains, the floods. The crew was helping sandbag, um, I heard, the night before when there was floods. Uh, so we decided to just get through the town, take our pictures and stuff, and then and leave and just leave the area. Just because there was so much going on there, we didn't want to be in the way or be a burden. Uh, we had plans to stay, stay and uh, hang out with some of the locals 
and uh, we just didn't get the opportunity because we just felt like our presence there didn't need to be needed. But hopefully sometime we'll get back to East Corinth and get to see uh, many of those people that we met along the way out there. So thank you for watching this video. Get out, see Beetlejuice 2. It was a great time. I felt like a kid again. Uh, it was a lot of fun. That's my review of Beetlejuice 2. Get on out and see it while it's in the theaters. It's one that's a must to see in the theaters. And keep dreaming big, everybody. Oh.